Uh, hello, I don't know why he's even going to do this. Anyway, we go, we we're about to get okay. into game one. Hello, Watson. Hello. I don't know if you guys could hear me before, but you can now as we get started in this game one, which is just a hellish matchup for Mr. Beat coming in. Yeah, it's just a matter of like Falco struggles so much to approach in this particular matchup because so much of it involves kind of like Falco really committing his body, just going straight into Ice Timers. And the moment uh, Fuel manages to get a good shield, I mean, it's kind of ropes. It's a good 50 60 as long as Fuel gets the whole decent combos uh, yeah, correct. But, you know, so far, Beat at the moment uh, doing pretty good. Mm. But. I mean, the game's only just started. <laughs> it's only just started. I mean, the percents are relatively even, and nothing has really been, I guess, started on either side. But that's the thing about both of these characters. They're just so combo heavy. Oh, that, oh, that might be... Oh, no. Okay, that's... This is that it? Yeah. Down that's two. it. That's it. He's My not bet. making his back. <laughs> so okay. true, bestie. The angle's Fua, just bad. Yeah, Pua taking the first hug with a very, very underrated down tilt. It was almost kind of disrespectful, just hitting him with the hammer as he tried to come back multiple times. Uh, there's nothing Falco can do. Bro, was spamming right. I wonder, does Beat have any Ice Climbers experience? Because I don't know any I think ICs there is his. an ICs or two in Australia that exists. Probably. Probably. I don't know if it's of who is Calibre, but... Uh, I suppose we'll see at the end of the day. So far, B kind of struggling uh, to find this first kill. Fua doing a really good job of uh, keeping her fellow ICs alive. Nana is doing pretty strong right now, but... Oh god. Oh, okay, we're good. Guard. Okay, not bad. And okay, oh, good okay, back here coming in, and it was the correct Ice Climber that got hit. <laughs> so, I mean, the correct one, or maybe it was the wrong one, depending on who you ask. Yeah, actually puts Pete in a really good spot now. Tried to find the tech chase with the up tilt, unfortunately doesn't work out. Pete shielding and just, yeah, just playing really correctly right now. The spacing is immaculate coming oh, from really good fair. Oh, the guard? No, it's not it. Nice catch. Catches Nana. Oh, wait, this is not Nana as well. Oh, yeah, oh no. Enough. But no, no, no. it's what they always say, though. <laughs> how you can judge how talented an Ice Timers player is how good their Sopo is. <laughs> That's what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. Right. But Little. this is... Yeah. Oh, oh wait, good. No, good. Cool out as well. smash. Yeah, no back air. But it's going to be the up smash. Oh, okay. never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Immediate retaliation coming out from Fuwa, and we are at all square at the moment. Beat, get on stage! <laughs> we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good. High recovery. Doesn't get covered. Yeah, match that side beat. Match that side beat, buddy. <laughs> Come on, come on, just do it. This is what I'm saying, bro. Ooh. Like, I feel like ICs have like a really linear game plan when uh, Nana's still around, but like the moment Fuwa like loses one of the climbers, Fuwa oh. just turns into like prime MK Leo with Sopo. <laughs> <laughs> like just neutral god. She becomes the goat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Say so Okay, they're gonna make this back, no problem, of course. Fuwa manages to save Nana. Beat still on the offense at the moment. Good down tilt. Manages to separate the climbers because of the percentage on each. At the moment, gets an up tilt. Good coverage with the dash tag. Fu is still looking good. Jump call out. Oh! oh! That's really bad. That, 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 was, that okay. was very unfortunate for Hua. Really good SDI coming in to avoid the back air. But Beat can she Jesus. make it back? Yes, she yes. can. Good air dodge. Oh, no. Yep, and an even it. better back air off the side to take game one beat in an go. apparently unwinnable matchup. <laughs> well, I want to go as far as to say unwinnable, and uh, this man, this very man in front of us, is proving that exactly right now. And um, look at that. Really impressive. I was, uh, that was very impressive. Because I, I know how good beat is, so I, I thought Fuwa would definitely be uh, proving to be an incredibly difficult challenge here, but beat. Holding his own at the moment. One game ahead. The job isn't done yet, but we're looking good. We're looking good. Yeah. He was really... One thing I did notice about uh, Beat, the way he was playing against Fua was he wasn't letting Fua really get anything started. Mm. That's true. Whether that's him be holding shield really, really obediently, I guess you could say, yeah. or SDI properly or anything. Like, there were no insane combos done on Fua's part, and I think that saved him and helped him in giving the game. He's winning because he's not getting grabbed. Top <laughs> level analysis here at VG Bootcamp. Fua at the moment, though, a strong 57. No desyncs involved. Looking pretty good right now. Gets the side B. Covers for the air dodge. That was that a been, yeah. really, really brave up air that actually managed to work out as a get off me tool. Be focusing on Nana, but Fuwa with the side. <laughs> Another side B. <laughs> Down tilt. 
No? Oh, no, no, no. The coverage? Yeah. Oh, that, that was the good. The one thing you shouldn't be doing. But <laughs> yeah, that, that was just beat timing uh, himself with uh, Fuwa's uh, Blizzard ending. As long as it works out, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, really good call out from a B. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. A B is so uh, strong. Yeah, yeah. Little no, Nana is the invincible during that. During that up B, so. You're supposed to go for the Poco. You're supposed to go for the Nana and not for the Poco. Oh! oh. Brilliant call out. And Fuwa now developing a pretty good lead as long as she doesn't die within the next 10, 9, 8, 7, uh -oh. 6. Okay, this okay. is. Oh, no, 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 no. no that's it. Uh, rip. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Yeah, you can see in the player cam as well, Beat is not very happy about that yeah. uh, very obvious misinput going off to the stage to where he couldn't recover. Oh, coverage. Back out, unfortunately, Sarah's spying. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, sometimes. It, but it was Nana. It's quite interesting how, like, uh, you can call out. Faka can call out that uh, aerial side B from below and try and punish it with an aerial a, a lot more easily than I expected it to. I thought uh, even if it was the aerial version of that side B, B would be caught. Ooh, nice up smash wow. there. Brilliant up smash, and uh, now things are looking slightly better, but B still needs to take two stocks off of Fuwa, who's looking to close this game out, to be honest. The damage output is quite, quite heavy. Yeah, getting up to 100%. I mean, Falco can get that really easily on a character that can't desync, but... Oh, okay, so... I, oh, that yeah, is it. That is going to do it. Yeah, that was... Uh, Really good patience for Fuwa to not go for like any kind of grab. Recognizing the spacing that B tried to do with that forward air. Simple roll in and then just calling out with a down smash. And Fuwa closes it in very convincing fashion for game two. So, shout out, we got a game three now. We got yeah. a game three. If I could point out anything, Mr. Beat did basically give one stock to her with that unfortunate side team. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. B Mr. Beat, Mr. Beat, not Mr. Beast. They have similar facial hair, but it's a different person, I think. But yeah, I think that was kind of the nail in the coffin, because that just put him at such a massive deficit to where maybe mentally as well, to where you just couldn't get back from it. Uh, Town and City is the name of the game for the third stage, and uh, this definitely gives uh, a lot of combo potential for Falco, but <laughs> I mean, it's also a lot of ground for Fuwa to do uh, Side B. silly Icy's combos. <laughs> and hang oh, on a second, oh. it might have already just started, but a smart oh, yeah. head from B, and yeah, not just barely so not smart enough. Up B. Ah, what a shame. That's a horrible way to start this game off, but we'll see if uh, B manages oh, to catch God. up. <laughs> Retaliates with the forward there, gets back on stage only to get thrown off with the side B again. The dynasty okay. of the matchup is really showing itself in this game three so far. Fu are looking extremely comfortable. B manages to separate the climbers only to get uh, up it hurt from yeah. below. <laughs> <laughs> Good anti air. Okay. Good opportunity to be able to separate take the okay. Good back air. Nana's gone. <gasps> Beat just trying to get back any kind of stage control at the moment. Wait for the air dodge. Oh, yeah, again, perfect. manages to find the air dodge, call it out with the up smash, and uh, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's an uphill battle, but not undoable, right? 100% deficit at the moment for Beat. Oh my god. It's definitely still doable. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Please, it's still doable. <laughs> it's doable. It is, it is doable. Wiss, don't worry. Hit this edge guard right now, Beat. Okay. Yeah, Fu went high. Really. Smart of her to do that because yeah. it, it, you could see he was ready for it to go out with the side B to just try and contest it. Because at this point, you kind of have to gimp the ice climbers to yeah. get this game. You have to either get an edge guard or something. Or that catches it, oh, the main was, climber off guard. Up to back airing the Nana. Oh god. Fu a side oh, B no. back on stage though. Be, Ooh, almost. Easy percent. Fu at the ledge here, might be able to close this one out, but B manages to gain stage control. Up tilt being, a, again, a really good anti-air, but sometimes it just trades in the most unfortunate ways, and... Ooh, can't be too overly committal there. B recognizing that, but still in a lot of trouble at the moment, can't seem to find the kill. Ooh, that was oh, really okay. committal. Yeah. And but that it was like make an it instant forward throw, which is why Fu couldn't react in time. No, oh, no, that's it. Oh, yeah, that is it. Unfortunate. You, yeah. yeah, this is a tough matchup. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll be it. Fuwa taking the game just about 2-1 from the depths. And uh, B definitely had something going on there, but 
midfield, just managing to make the most out of uh, how good ICs can really be in this matchup. And that is going to be our first set of today. Yeah, going right. to up. At least it was a 2 1 and not a 2 0, right? Yeah. Got to look at the bright side on things like that. And um, I think also Fua adapted really well on that, yes, that third stock of the last game because he, he was calling out her air dodges with up smashes multiple times. Oh, it's Seb. And on that last one, oh, Seb Pro, what's up? So. On that last stop <laughs> we for the last time. Sorry. Ices. Sorry. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, great. So, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to VGBC. We Welcome's are. We only do ICs matches is on this stream. No, but literally.